On this episode on Fisher Girls, we're gonna hop on my uncle's 19 foot Boston Whaler. Check out some grounds, see if you get lucky. Stay tuned. This episode of Fishing Girls! Alright, here we are at Sand Line in Boat Harbor, loading up the boat, make sure everything's all locked in and secured. I brought, I brought soap. Where's the goggles? Should be over there. On this episode of Fishing Girls, here in Hawaii, Nate, on Mongo Daniel's 19 foot Boston Whaler. Water looks good. So hopefully we can find some fish and some taco. Stay tuned. Beautiful day out today. Clear skies, flat, clean, calm waters. Taking out his brand new 19 foot Boston Wheeler. Make sure everything's all running smoothly. And yeah, hoping to get some taco and some fish. Take them to feed the fat. Let's get to some diving. So, Lima Koho one hand. Saw this taco hole, multitasking, tickle tickle, out the hole. Good way to start off the day. All right, over here, I, um, there was a good sized poala stew in the back, about a two, three pounder range. Figured I'd just pick one out. Take it home, fry it up, chop it in half, score it. Garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit of flour, deep fry it crispy. Side of hot rice, which show you. Ooh, makes a very good fry fish dish. Okay, I'm just lining up a shot. Just picking one out of, out of the bunch. Side of the head, out the forehead. Good unicorn shot. Nice three pound poalu heading to the stringer. All right guys, lesson learned. Do not shoot your shaft in the hole, double banded, where there's a big towel right in the front. But I chanced it with this shot and I landed the fish, but my shaft got stuck and it took me about three dives to shimmy it off the reefs. But I was super fortunate to get my shaft back. But yeah. Don't be shooting your shaft in no cave, guys, especially if it's double band. Where there's a typical hole, couple rocks pushed out, tickle tickle, off the hole, nice little two pound taco headed to the stringer. Ready, squirt. Now with these smaller tacos, the two, the one, two, three pounders, it's better for eating. It, it's softer, cooks faster, and makes for a better dish. You can boil it, fry it crispy, or if you pound it good enough, you make it raw. And with this hole, there was no rocks pushed out. It was just some sand. But I saw it when I got close to it, it sucked back in like that and some dust kicked up. So I was able to spot it. It's like an advanced game of Easter egg hunt. Let's get a pound, pound halfer to the stringer. Got about 10, 15 pounds each. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Got some fryers, couple maninis, towal. Got that good size poalu. Head to the next spot, look for some coles. And when you're three, prong, three pronging fish, it's a very interesting scale because you're shooting it from your shoulder, not from your eyesight. But with the th one thing with the three prong, you can shoot, miss, shoot, miss, reload, and just keep going. Third time to charm, 
One, two, three strikes, head into the stringer. But the three prong is a little bit more challenging because their range is not as far as the gun and the aiming is a little bit, little bit different. But it's a really, it's really fun game for like stalking and for aiming. So for anyone who's starting off, start off with a three prong. Three prongs gonna help you work on your stalking skills and your aiming skills. Ready? I see a school of lie coming in. Lie is real good for Ed Crispy, so I love lie. Ready? Our practice shot. Oh. And then I get close. Shot low. Rips off. Gives it to him another day. Ready? That big collar right there. I think it was so fat that it bounced off my spear. So I check in the hole, not there, check on the other side of the, the reef, not there. And I think the Coles over here were trained or something because I swear I aimed straight at these guys and they like matrixed me super hard. Swoop, miss. Same call it. Swoop, miss. And look at this. Swoop, and you're out. Three strikes. Tangled up in the tagline. Where there's a pretty extra, extra large size call it. Good shot. And I was trying to, I was figuring out at this time that they give you a one minute window where they kind of out and curious and wondering where their friend went before they went back in the cave. So I heard up, threw them on a stringer and then straight back down. In that one minute window, they're still out and still able to light up another shot. So there I go back down. His friend just threw out wondering where his other friend went and picked up another one. Another extra large cole, shaka size. Shaka size cole. Cole fried crispy, topped with some sweet spicy sauce. Oh, yum. All right, in this drop, I've seen a pretty good sized Roy, about five, six pounds, hanging outside of the hole. So I want to get my gun, but I want to chance it with the three prong, creeping up behind this reef, looking over the ledge, hopefully I can get a good holding shot. Man, this thing was so big, it just took my three prong into the hole, ripped himself off and lost him. I'll get him next time. This is the end of the dive. Anchor stuck, so they gotta send the youngest guy out to go unstuck the anchor. Anchor loose, headed back to the boat, back to the harbor. Find the out in the water. Got about 10, 15 pounds of taco each, about a dozen fish each, enough to feed the fam. Successful day. Thank you for joining us today. Beautiful day out in the waters. And thank you again, Venture Wetsuits, for keeping me warm and comfortable in the water. Aloha. Stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grills.